So this state's weather is pretty weird. It uh rained for a second and it stopped raining and the sun came out again. And look, there's fog on the road. So here in Maryland, it'll be in the 90s for a while, high 80s with a bunch of humidity. And then out of nowhere, it'll like storm for, I don't know, five minutes to half an hour. And then the sun will come out again. Weird state. So it is now nighttime. I'm editing yesterday's vlog and uh, I only have about two shots today from during the day. So at some point when the sun starts coming up, I'm gonna have to go out and film some more. I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. Gonna get me a cheesesteak from Wawa. Oh, and I need gas too. Welcome to another one of my morning walks. I know it's been a big transition of time from when this video started to now, but that's just because I didn't really have much time to go out filming during the rest of the day. But um, today I got a pretty big day. I got to go pick up my tux for my brother's wedding tomorrow. I have to go grocery shopping for my trip, get all the non-perishable stuff. Um, I have to get some light clothes because everything I own is black and I'm going to a bunch of deserts and I got to get my hair cut. Preferably somewhat short because, like I said, deserts. You know, I generally don't like the heat and I'll bet you I'm not going to like the heat of the desert places I go to but I'm told it's dry heat so it'll still suck but without the humidity it'll suck a little less. There's also the fact that a lot of the places I'll be going are beautiful. So maybe that'll take away from the fact that I'm going to be burning up completely. Oh yeah, another thing I got to do today. I got to change my car's oil. It occurred to me there's also just a bunch of stuff I still need to buy for my trip as well in terms of supplies. Just a lot of random stuff. I've been wanting to do a road trip like the one I'm going to be doing this summer for a long time. Probably at least since I was 18. And I mean, last year, my buddies and I went to the Lexington Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky. Now, this is back, I think, last July. And I did want to do this to do a road trip and just to kind of chill for a weekend. But it was also to scope out my first non-destination stop for my trip. And this year, I had the same exact campground, same exact like campsite. So it's pretty bomb. It's like shaded right next to the showers and the pool. Oh yeah, they have a pool there too. The reason why I'm going on this trip alone is because I plan to be gone for about two months, assuming everything works out as planned. Uh, everybody I know that wants to go doesn't have time or money. Everybody that has time or money doesn't want to go. So I kind of just got tired of waiting and just decided to do something big last year. And this idea started off as just a, hey, what if I could take a road trip to Colorado, go hiking or something? But then that just evolved and I got a new job, which was more flexible with money and hours. But eventually I saved up enough to buy the supplies to do this trip. And uh, I don't have quite as much as I had initially planned because I, I quit my job, which I didn't plan to do. And I did that about a week before I was to have left. So I didn't work up until the last day, but I'll still be above the minimum line for what I need and I have everything I need right now so I should be okay. So my plan is to leave at 3.30 in the morning on Monday the 26th so that's Sunday night turning into Monday and it'll take me roughly 8 to 10 hours to get to Lexington, Kentucky depending on how many stops I make and uh, I'll set up my tent, go to sleep for a while, wake up it's still light out maybe do some filming who knows and uh, just kind of chill maybe get a little bit more sleep before I have a six-hour drive to Memphis Tennessee don't know who lives here but they have a pretty legit like foresty backyard it's pretty awesome actually you can go for a walk in your backyard so much life now, if anybody ever asks you the definition of lush, 
show them th this scene from this video. Look at this. Look at all these plants everywhere. Look at that. Highly invasive bamboo. But it looks kind of cool. But seriously, when I was a kid, this forest was like a third the size. So, not very good for the local population of trees. You know, there's a ton of bamboo here. And it is highly invasive. I'm sure nobody would mind if I cut down a bit of it to make like a shelter or something. That'd be cool. Should the hell of it make a bamboo shelter? So that'll about conclude this morning vlog. If you like my videos, leave me a like, comment, subscription. Till next time, have a good one.